everybody, Pete here. Uh, obviously in the club repair room, I want you to see how this shaft is moving in somewhat of an oscillating motion. Uh, it was started in a straight side to side, and here I can do it again for you. You can watch it as I kind of explain what's going on. So the shaft starts out moving laterally, side to side, but you can see fairly quickly it starts oscillating. There's a reason for that. Now this is a table rolled graphite shaft, which means the way that this shaft was developed, uh, there was a, a sheet of graphite, it was somewhat wet in nature, and as they built it, it was rolled, very similar to how a cigar is made. And once, that, when, once they complete the rolling, it is put vertically into a barrel, and then they go ahead and they make another one. They roll that, they put it vertically in the barrel. Now, until they get a, a, a certain amount of shafts, it's usually about 40 or so, into a barrel, uh, and then they put those into a, a kiln to heat dry them, uh, but during the course of the time that they're, they're still rolling the other shafts, the, the first couple shafts that are sitting in the barrel are sitting in them vertically. So the shaft has a, uh, a higher uh, propensity and a potential for it to bend under its own weight. When that shaft has a bit of bending, it will start to, it will start moving side to side, but it will very quickly move to an oscillation because of the, the in, inefficiency in the shaft and, and the bend. Um, now that's a table roll graphite shaft. The other option that there is out there today, even though it's not as prevalent, table roll graphite shafts are everywhere. They're in every catalog. They're all around uh, in every, uh, every golf club manufacturer and so on. The more efficient and the better, higher quality shaft that you would like to use in most of your woods and your hybrids would be a filament wound graphite shaft. Now filament wound is exactly what it says. They are strands of graphite that are wound together. They're interwoven, so to speak. And when they make that shaft, they pull it out and they twist it to improve or to strengthen or soften the flex of the shaft. Um, it is much more efficient because there is no rolling. It's stretched. Uh, it's much more playable. It's, it, the, the, uh, the tolerances are much tighter and thus you get a tighter dispersion on your swings, your feedback throughout your swing, your sequencing, etc. Now there's one other thing to note when you, uh, in talking between uh, table roll graphite and filament on graphite, the playability factor, meaning the stiffness playability. If you were to measure them equally on a frequency machine such as we have here, they do not measure out equally, meaning the playability factor of a, uh, a stiffness number does not, A does not equal A in this instance. Uh, if a, a table roll graphite shaft had a frequency of let's say 280, which would be pretty stiff shaft, the to, for the, the shaft to play the same in filament on graphite, it would be approximately eight to nine cycles softer. That's because the shaft itself plays stiffer, okay? Again, the filament wound ma graphite material will play stiffer, so the frequency should be eight to nine cycles softer to equal the same stiffness. That's something that you're gonna wanna keep in mind if and when you go out and you're gonna replace your driver shaft, per se, and you're looking at filament wound graphite compared to table roll graphite. So that's just a little bit of information on shafts, particular graphite, the differences between table rolled and filament wound and how they can affect and make a dramatic difference in your game. Hey everybody, Pete here from the Golf Paradigm. Thanks for watching the video. You can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you wanna watch more videos or subscribe, you can do it right here.